Marketing Strategies to Scale Your Online Business To scale your online business successfully, you're going to have to ramp up your marketing. You need to be able to reach more prospects that will become leads initially and then convert into customers. You have probably used different online marketing methods to get your online business to where it is today. Do you know which of these methods produces the best results for you? If you don't, then you need to find this out as scaling up what works the best is a smart thing to do. Prioritize marketing. If you've been doing everything yourself to make your online business a success, then you probably have not devoted enough time to marketing. You have been so busy performing other tasks for your online business that promoting it has become a bit of an afterthought. When you are scaling your online business, marketing must be very high on your list of priorities. Marketing is vital to successfully scaling your online business. By using the automation methods and outsourcing tasks to competent freelancers, you will free up your time to focus on marketing. Test and measure everything. There are so many ways that you can promote your online business, and we suggest that you test a number of these to see which works the best for you. Testing is essential, as you do not want to spend a large amount of money on a marketing tactic that you are not sure will be effective for you. Fortunately, most paid advertising methods allow you to test their effectiveness very quickly. You can run some pay-per-click PPC ads with Google or Microsoft, for example, and start generating traffic to your online business in minutes. Most social media ads will drive traffic pretty quickly, too. Always track your traffic sources. If you are running several different marketing campaigns, such as PPC, content marketing, social media ads, and so on, you need to know where your traffic is coming from. The reality is that some of the marketing methods that you will test are going to produce better results than the others. By tracking everything, you can see which are the best performers and then scale up on these. Scale up what is currently working. You will be using some marketing methods currently that have helped to get your online business to its current level of success. Can you scale these methods to bring in more leads and sales? Most marketing methods are scalable, so identify what is working the best for you right now and then do more of this. For example, you may be running some PPC campaigns for search engine marketing that deliver good results for you. You can ramp up most PPC campaigns by either increasing your daily spend on impressions and clicks or by adding additional keywords to your campaign. The keywords need to be related to your niche and your online business, of course. So do some additional keyword research or outsource this to an expert to find more keywords that you are not currently using to drive traffic. Think multi-channel. Many online business owners only use one or two methods to drive traffic to their websites and offers. When you are scaling your online business, you need to think more multi-channel. This means that you will utilize more than one marketing channel to drive targeted traffic. You may have used content marketing to drive free traffic to your online business successfully. This is an excellent form of marketing and it certainly works. However, what about all of the other channels that you can use, such as paid advertising and other free traffic generation methods? Think about where your prospects hang out online. What are the most effective ways that you can reach them? If you drive a lot of traffic from free social media posting now, then how about increasing the reach of your content by investing in ads? Facebook will provide you with the option of boosting posts to extend your reach, for example. Here are some of the most popular marketing channels for an online business. Content marketing, email marketing, PPC ads, social media ads, native ads, forum marketing, video marketing, podcasting. There are more, of course. If you are not currently using some of these marketing channels, assess whether they could help you to drive more targeted traffic to your online business. Not all of these channels may be suitable for your business, but it is likely that some of them can help you to generate a lot more leads and sales. Content marketing. If you are not currently doing content marketing, then you need to start. Here, you will publish something of value on your website and other platforms to prove to prospects that you know what you are talking about and that they should listen to you. Content marketing can take a different number of forms. Blog posts and articles, videos, audios, podcasting, presentations, PowerPoint files, or PDF documents, social media posts. All of these different formats allow you to showcase your expertise and make your target audience aware of what you have to offer. You should start by adding valuable posts to your website and then use social platforms to spread the word even further. You can outsource the creation of your content. There are good content writers that will create this for you. All you have to do then is post it on your website and your social media accounts. Something that many online business owners overlook is video marketing. People prefer to watch videos far more than they will read blog posts. So you should be creating as many videos for your business as you can and sharing them on YouTube and Facebook. Email marketing. Email marketing works really well, but it is overlooked by a lot of online business owners. Not everyone that visits your website is going to purchase your products or services the first time around. In fact, most of them won't. 
If you do not have a way to capture details of your visitors, then you run the risk of losing them forever. You can offer your visitors something of value in exchange for their email address. This could be a report on PDF format or a special video that is not available to the public, for example. You will need to use an autoresponder service to build a list of subscribers and be able to send them automated emails and broadcast emails. It is a good idea to create a sequence of emails that go out automatically as soon as someone becomes a subscriber. You can present offers in these emails to increase your sales. Email marketing works, but you need to be smarter than ever these days to get your emails opened and the links within them clicked. Most people receive far too many emails, so you need to use subject lines that will stand out in their inbox. There's plenty of information available online about how to improve email open rates and click-through rates, so use all of the best tactics in your email marketing. It will take some effort to set up a good, automated email sequence and to send out broadcast emails for special offers, but the results should make this all worthwhile. In the next video, we will discuss using the right metrics to successfully scale your online business.